in this video i will show you that how you can design beautiful faq page as you can see on your screen so this is the faq page and here you can see the titles that is shipping and tracking these are the faqs related to the shipping and tracking and these are the faqs related to the order and product details and if you scroll down these are the faqs related to returns and refunds i will show you that how you can design such a beautiful faq page in your shopify store also i will show you that how you can add this faq in your header menu and if you scroll down i will show you that how you can add this faq page in your footer menu like you can see here on the footer okay so this is the most uh, important video for you if you want to add faq page in your shopify store so first of all here you can see these are the faqs that i have prepared this is the FAQ, these are the FAQs related to returns and refunds, and these are the FAQs related to order and shipping. I will use the Dawn theme, so maybe the design is not exactly as same as like this one, but you will see exactly the uh, FAQs page like this. Okay, so here will be the title, here will be the FAQs, and again here will be the title, and here will be the FAQs okay so this is my shopify store like you can see here i am using the dawn theme you can use any theme and this will work for any theme that you are using so first of all you have to go to the pages and on the pages you have to create a page okay so to create a page you have to go to the add page and the add page okay once you create uh, click on the add page you can see here the title of the page and the title of the page provide the uh, name of the page that is faqs okay i will use the double s because i already have another faqs page okay so that i know the name okay that is faqs and click on save so you can see here the faq page is created now if you view this page you can see here our faq page looks like this one okay so you can see here now this page is looks like this one but i will design it like this one okay so here it's so easy you have to follow these simple steps okay i have created the faq page now you have to customize this page to customize it go to the online store and once you go to the online store and click on the customize click on customize and here you can see this is the here you can customize your home page your product page or any page on here so this is by default which is home page and here you have to select the pages click on pages and here you would see here the default page and contact page for here you have to create a template so when you create a template you have to give a name to the template that is f a q and that is double s okay you can give any name to this template it is not necessary that the name of the template and the name of the uh, page will be same okay you can give any name okay and create a template so once you click on create a template you can see here this page is appeared okay now you can customize the page when you see here the contact page or about us page by default you would see any page okay the shopify gave you the random page on here let's say that you see here the about us page or contact us page then you have to change that from here okay you can see here click on change and from here then you can change okay so then you have to select the faq ss click on that and click on select okay so once you click on select then you have to you can see here on the left side you can see here the header and this is the block this is the section so you can see here the section you have to click on the section okay sorry you have to like you can see here in a template you have to click on hover on here and you have to click on the plus icon like section you can also click on this section and here you can see the collapsible content in a dawn theme it's called the collapsible content but the theme that you are using maybe it's called the uh, faqs okay so it depends on a theme okay you have you can search for here collapsible okay so here you can see collapsible content in your theme you can search faqs if you cannot find collapsible content okay so this is the heading now 
you can see here click on collapsible content and this is the heading so here i have to copy this heading copy this and here you can paste it on here okay so paste it you can bold it okay select this and you can bold it or you can unbold it okay you can also make it italic okay so i will make it as it is i want to make it large okay click on large so you can see here it will be large because on here this is medium okay so i will also make it medium okay so here you can see return and refund questions now you have to add questions to add questions you have to go to the uh, questions and you have to copy the question on here copy this question and go to shopify store and click on collapsible row this is called the collapsible row so when you click on collapsible row you will see here on the right side collapsible row okay you have to paste the question on here so you can see here the question will be appear what is your return policy on here so this is the question and the row content is here this will be the answer so you have to paste the answer on here okay go to the questions and copy the answer and paste the answer on here and click on save now you can see here the question is this one and the answer is this one you can see here this is a check mark if you want to this if you want to change this icon you can change it from here like you can see if i want to make it i you can see here it become i if you want to make it like hurt you can see here this is the plus icon if you can find it uh, here the plus icon you can use it otherwise you can use as check mark okay i will use the check mark because check mark is looks professional okay now you have to add another question to add another question like copy this question go to the shopify store click on the collapsible row and here you can paste the question and here we have to add the answer okay copy this answer and copy it and paste it on here you can change the answer like if you want to make it a heading one or heading two but most cases this is is a good is paragraph okay you can bold it some of the text you can add the link okay so click on save then also you can add another question like copy this and like you can see you can see click on collapsible row and paste the question and you can see copy this and paste the answer okay and click on the answer now you can see here we have three questions and here you can see we have one collapsible row that is extra if you want to hide it or if you want to delete it you can click on here you can see here hover on it and you would see here delete an i icon on here if you want to hide it click on here so it will be hide and if you want to delete it permanently you can delete it on here so let's say if you want to add another question in a future then how you can do this you can do this by add a collapsible row so when you add a collapsible row you can add the question and answer on here as well so in this case i don't have another question so i will delete it okay now here you have to add another title that is order and shipping questions copy this and go to the shopify store and you have to add another section of the collapsible row click on add section and here you have to add another collapsible content okay just you can search for here that is collapsible okay and here you can see collapsible content okay you can see here the another section added and now you have to uh, replace the text okay just select this one and order and shipping questions okay you can see like this one and here you can add this question as well copy this and paste it on here click on collapsible row and paste the questions and here you can paste the answer as well copy this and paste this one here and you can see here this is copy this and like select the collapsible row okay copy and paste the question and let's copy this answer also and paste this answer on here similarly copy this and you can copy this and paste it on here copy this and paste it, the answer on here okay you can see it is selected as the heading 3 so you can make it as paragraph 
okay now click all save again we have one collapsible row extra so i want to make it delete okay so click on save so you can see our template design is ready so you can see here the template design is ready if you want to change the text of this uh, you can see here you can change it okay uh, you can uh, uh, change the top padding like uh, you can see here and bottom padding also because here is a lot of space on here okay and click on save so you can see here our template is ready now so now you have to assign this template to our page that is FAQ page okay so you can see here this is the preview okay this is FAQs okay click on it and when you click on that it will take you to that page okay that page which is which you can edit okay here you can see but uh, here you can see if you click on view page okay you can see here that here is nothing because you have not assigned that template to this page you have to go to the page that is FAQs and you can see here theme template and here you have to assign the template okay we have given the name to the template that is FAQ SS okay you can see here if you have assigned the wrong template that it then it will not works okay so make sure to remember the name of template okay you have provided the template name and click on save so when you click on save now your FAQ page is now ready if you click on view page and uh, now after some time it may take up to two to three seconds okay click on refresh and here you can see the FAQs page is ready this is return and refund questions and what is your return policy click on here and here you can see the answer and this is the question here you can see this is the question and this is the answer this is the question and this is the answer okay similarly you can do this like here okay now it is most important that how you can add this FAQ page on here in the header menu and also on footer menu I will add first of all on here that is uh, after the our policies on here between the our policies and contact okay for that you have to go to your Shopify store okay uh, Shopify admin okay and here you have to click on navigation so when you click on navigation so of course this is our main menu okay so click on main menu and here you can see here add a menu item you have to click on it and here you have to click on pages because the FAQ is a pages and we have given the name to that pages is FAQSS that is okay uh, now we have to change the name it like this one okay because it will be visible to our customers okay so we should give the correct spelling okay that is FAQs and click on add okay now you can see here it is added now I want to add it between the contact and our policies okay so just uh, click on that and drag it outside okay and now click on save so when you click on save just preview your store now so when you preview your store you can see here so it is taking time okay just you have to refresh it okay uh, again you have to make it refresh okay you can preview it again okay that is uh, FAQs between our policies and contact page okay just if you attack it again and here you can see it is taking just to uh, 5 to 10 seconds okay if you click on it if your customers click on it you can see here that page will be appear on here now how you can add that on your footer okay let's say I will add it in a assistance menu uh, that is below the search okay on here you can go to the navigation again and on navigation you have to search for that is assistant assistance menu okay that is the assistance menu is this one okay and here we have only search menu item you can see here search menu item and on here I want to add the FAQ page okay like go to the add menu item click on it and here click on it and click on pages and click on FAQ SS okay you can change the name that is that looks professional okay FAQs and now click on it so you can see it's added click on save and when you click on save 
click on online store and click on preview your store okay if you scroll down all the way down and your footer you can see you have to refresh it again okay let's see okay just to preview it again okay it is taking time 5 to 10 minutes okay if you scroll down you would see here that is FAQs is added click on it and here you can see you will be landed on this FAQ page okay you can see here there is no difference between this page and this page they have already added the FAQs on here in the header menu and they have also added the FAQs on a footer menu on here okay in this way you can create the FAQ page and in this way you can add a FAQ page in your header menu and your footer menu if you have learned something from this video make sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel thank you for watching